Good morning, class. Okay, so how are you today? Well, I can feel that you are very excited to learn new lesson about science. Once again, I am Teacher Marian, your teacher for today. And before anything else, may I request everyone to please stand up for our prayer. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Before sitting down, kindly please arrange your chairs and pick up those pieces of papers. Thank you. You may now be seated. Now, let me check first your attendance. Is there any absentee today? Very good. No one is absent. So today, class, in order for us to be guided of the way things will be going in our lesson, so let me first read our objectives. First objectives, infer changes in the properties of material. Second, describe what happens to the materials when heated. And the third one, Describe what happens to the materials when cold. But, before we move on to our new lesson for today, let us have a short recap about the lesson that we discussed last meeting. Do you still remember our lesson last meeting? Okay, very good. So, last meeting, we discussed about classification of matter now as a sort of review i have here an index card and i want you to identify whether the word written in an index card belongs to solid liquid or gas do you understand okay so, let us start with our first word. Is it liquid, solid, or gas? Granny Rose? Very good. It's a gas. What about the second word? g -cell. Very good. It's a solid. What about the third word? Neri, very good. It's a liquid. So I guess that you really understand our lesson last meeting. Now, let us move on to our lesson for today. So class, I have here a lighted alcohol burner and a tin can with an ice cube. What do you think? will happen to the ice cube if I will put the tin can over the flame for a few minutes. Yes, John? Very good. It will change from solid to liquid through melting. If I will remove the tin can from the flame, what do you think will happen to the material inside it? Yes, Debbie. Very good. It will cool down. Now, class, do you have any idea what will be our lesson for today? Okay, very good. So today, we are going to tackle about the changes in the properties of materials. So class, changes in the properties of materials can be done in different ways. And for the day, we will be focusing on the changes in the properties of materials when exposed to different temperatures. Now, what do you think will happen to the materials when they are heated? And what do you think will happen to the materials when they are cold? 
Do you have any idea? Yes, Rochelle. You have a point, Rochelle. So, class, when the material is heated, its temperature increases. But, when a material is cold, its temperature decreases. Now, we will have a group activity. So, I will group you into three groups. So, those who are sitting on the left side will be the first group. And those who are sitting at the right side will be the second group. And those who are sitting at the center will be the third group. So, now, before we start our activity, let me remind you first about our standards when we are having an activity. So, first, in doing the activity, please observe silence. Second, all must cooperate with the groups. Third, share your ideas with your group. Fourth, stay focused on task. And fifth, raise your hand if you have questions. Do you get it? Okay, so I hope that you will cooperate with that. So this time, class, let us examine some materials and describe they undergo when they are heated or when cold. So these are the materials that we need. First is crayons, chocolates, butter, margarine, alcohol lamp, and spoon. So, I will be the one to perform the experiment and all you have to do is to observe for you will answer some questions later. Do you understand? Now, after recording all of your observations and answering the questions, your leader will be the one to present your explanations in front of the class. All groups should note the observations of the other groups presented. And these are the rubrics in giving your grades. Accuracy 15%, content 50%, clarity 20%, and presentation 15%. So, now we will start performing the experiment. Okay. Number one. Are there changes in the appearance of the pieces of crayons, chocolate, butter, and margarine? Write your answer in your activity sheet. Second, why did the pieces of crayons, chocolate, butter, and margarine undergo a change in form? Third, when the mentioned materials were heated, what can you say about their temperature? Okay, fourth. When you remove the materials from the flame, what happened to it? Next, when the pieces of crayons chocolate butter and margarine cooled down what can you say about their temperature okay class i will give you 15 minutes to answer the questions okay you may start now time's up so the group 
Number one will be the first to present and followed by group two and then group three. Okay, very good. So all groups presented the answers well. So let us give each group five claps. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now who can define heating? Wena? Correct. What about cooling? Yes, Lydia's? Correct. So, class, heating is the process and system of raising the temperature, while cooling is the process of decreasing the temperature. In our activity class, there are changes in the appearance of the materials such as crayons, chocolate, butter, and margarine. So the materials undergo changes in form because they were heated. In short, they absorb the heat. So when materials were heated, their temperature increased. And when the materials remove from the flame, the materials cool down. And that is why their temperature decreases. Now, how would you describe the changes that happened to the pieces of crayons, chocolate, butter, and margarine when heated? Catherine? Very good. So, when these materials class are heated, the solid materials absorb heat. So, the heat absorbed by these materials causes the materials to change its form from solid to liquid. So, the material also changes its size, shape, and texture. Now, how would you describe the changes that happened to the pieces of crayons, chocolate, butter, and margarine when cold? Yes, Ranaline? Correct. When these materials are cold, it releases heat. So the heat released or removed by these materials causes the materials to change its form. From liquid to solid. So, these materials also change its size, shape, and texture. Class, these changes in the properties of the materials can be considered as physical change. So, such changes include change in size, in shape, and texture. But, there is no new material form. Some materials also, when exposed to heat or extreme temperature, may result into chemical change. Such examples include burning of wood and much sticks, which turns them into ashes. So, in general class... When some materials are heated, their temperature increases. They change from solid to liquid. There is also a change in their size, shape, and texture. But when the materials are cooled, their temperature decreases. They turn back to their original state of being solid. There is also a change in their size, shape, and textures. Class, remember that materials also expand when heated and contract when cold. Now, do you have any questions regarding our lesson for today? Any clarifications? None? Okay, if none, please get one half sheet of paper 
and answer the following questions. Okay, it is fill in the blanks, so copy and answer the questions. I will give you 7 minutes to do this activity. Okay, time's up. Please pass your papers in front. Okay, so it's almost uh, time. So, for your assignment, I want you to draw a picture of these materials when heated and draw a picture what will happen to the materials when cold. Okay, so just draw a picture. Do you understand? Okay, so before we end our class for today, let us have our prayer. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Goodbye, class. Goodbye.